A multi-million pound building fit for the demands of modern broadcasting. The new HQ will house most of the TV and radio programmes made by BBC Wales, as well as its online content and a vast archive, with room for the public to look around too. It's a big change from Broadcasting House Llandaff, the building that BBC Wales has called home since the 60s. What was once the height of modernity, now unable to meet the demands of high-tech TV. What we will have is a centre where our teams can collaborate more easily, where, the, where everything is visible, but also, importantly, a chance to be in a location where the public can see us face to face. Tens of thousands of people moving through that location each and every day. The spikes of the Millennium Stadium overlook this site. At the moment, a bus station. But come 2018, the BBC headquarters will be here, as well as a brand new development right in front of the railway station. The BBC's decision has kick-started the development here, but it'll involve a lot of work for the council, who'll have to find a new home for the bus station, for starters. This is a key gateway to the Welsh capital uh, and I think this development will really drive forward uh, a much wider uh, improvement plan for this area with uh, a fantastic new transport interchange and, and obviously a world-class design, Norman Fosser design building will have a fantastic impact in this part of the city. The last decade has seen big investment by the BBC in buildings in Cardiff, Glasgow, Salford and here at New Broadcasting House in London. But there's a warning that the bricks and mortar must also lead to better content. What we need, though, is for the BBC to see that we don't want some kind of ivory tower. We don't want an iconic building for its own sake. It's got to deliver better programming and more programming for the people of Wales because that has actually been in decline over the last 10 years. Some would like to have seen the BBC relocate outside the capital city and it's still some way off being built at all. Planning permission will be sought in the autumn and details about the final cost and any deals over the lease of the land will all be announced at a later date. If it all goes to plan, building will start next year with programmes broadcasting from the new HQ in 2018.